Welcome back. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to fold Howling at the Moon, designed by Chris Alexander. Um, if you have a piece of origami paper, you can start with that square. And if you have a rectangular sheet of paper anywhere else in the world, you can use the top edge here and fold it down to the side edge to create a square. I usually like to tell kids, start with a triangle and then roll that triangle over until it meets up with the edge and those two lines are parallel and then use your bone folder to crease right on that diagonal. Once you've creased on that diagonal, you cut this bottom portion off. And when you open your paper up, that triangle will become a perfect square. Okay. Once you have that perfect square, you're going to do some more folding. You're going to valley fold the bottom edge up to the top edge. And that'll give you a valley fold crease right along the center. Unfold it. Take the right hand edge and fold it over to the left hand edge. This will give you a vertical line straight down the middle of your paper. Like that. Then we're going to valley fold the right hand edge into the center line. So it just meets up with that center line. Fold the left hand edge into the center. Then unfold both of those and fold the bottom edge, valley fold it up into the center. Like so. Then you're going to take your paper and flip it over and fold the diagonal creases. So I'm going to take this bottom left hand corner and fold it up to the top corner. And I'm only going to partially fold it. If you see this horizontal line right here, I'm going to fold starting there down to the lower right hand corner. Okay, and just fold that little piece. I'm not going to fold all the way off the edge. And I'm going to open it up and do the opposite. I'm going to take this bottom right hand corner, fold it up to the top, left hand corner, and then I'm only going to fold starting at this horizontal line right there. And I'm going to fold down like that. Okay, now. Opening that back up, you'll see an X kind of right through the center. Then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to fold this top portion down along that center valley fold that I had before. And it'll look something like this. Now I want to fold a valley fold right here. So I'm going to take the outside edge and fold it up to that top center crease. And I'm going to fold just the center. So I'm going to start at the center of this quadrant and fold out just that part. So when I unfold it, you'll see like a triangle right here. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side, taking the left hand outside edge and folding it up to meet that top. And then folding just from the center of that quadrant up like that. So again, we have the triangle situation there. Okay, now I'm going to open it up and I'm going to have this. Now it's very important at this point that we have the right kind of folds in the right place. I'm going to dot on here our mountain folds. We want this to be a mountain fold and we want these to be mountain folds which already are mountain folds. Okay, And that's very important because when we fold this up um, those lines are going to be important that they're that way. This line here is also going to be a mountain fold. And this one here, this side is going to mirror that side. So mountain fold, mountain fold, and mountain fold. And everything else that is unmarked is going to be a valley. Okay. So one thing that I'm going to do to change these around, I'm going to pick this paper up and I'm just going to gently crease 
right along this line here, I'm going to recrease this into a mountain fold. I'm going to recrease this one here into a mountain fold. Now I'm going to recrease this one here. I'm going to bend it up and mountain fold it. Like that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take these, and we're going to bring these two edges together so that this valley folds in. Then this one being a mountain fold, we want these other ones, this one here, to be a valley fold, and this one over here to be a valley fold so they can fold up like that. And it's going to turn up to be this like upside down L shape. If I open it up again and show you those, it looks kind of like this. Valley, valley, mountain in the center. Valley in the center, mountain, mountain. and it'll look like that. Okay. The next step is to bring this bottom piece um, up and inside. So we're going to inside reverse fold along these two diagonal creases here. We're going to just pull this piece up and lay it kind of flat down like that. Flip these around the edges and then flip them down like that. So you'll see that one side is one color and one side is the other color. Then we've got two flaps, one, two. You're going to take the top flap and flip it up. And then on the back, you're going to take this top flap here and flip it down. So that like this side is all one color and that side is all one color and you don't see the patterning. Whereas here you can kind of see the insides. Okay, now I'm going to rotate the model this way and pull these two flaps up, one, and two, and then flip this downward like that to make a trapezoid on the bottom. Okay, now comes the little complicated parts. Okay, we're going to take this inside edge and fold it up into this inside edge to make like a triangle here. So you see that triangle, and we're just going to make sure that part's nicely creased. So you see that valley fold right there. Now we're going to take this corner and bring it to the center to make yet another valley fold and a crease right along the center there. So this previous crease will line right up with the center like that and you're just going to valley fold right there. Now when we unfold it, you'll see the two creases, one here and one there. Now there's two pockets here and what we're going to do is we're going to open those up and we're going to kind of squash this piece down like this so this triangle point ends up right in the middle like that and that this piece ends up flat down like that okay so we just kinda rotated that a little bit now we're gonna take this and squash fold it just like we would to make a preliminary base. Lifting this corner up and pressing this fold here down in the center like a preliminary base. Then we're going to take this outside edge and fold it in towards the center this direction just like we would for making a bird base. And we're going to do the same on the other side here taking this edge and folding it in just like we would for a bird base. Then just like a bird base we're going to unfold those and we're going to inside reverse fold them. So I'm going to lift it up just like I would with a bird base and fold this one inside and this one inside. I'm going to rotate it just so we can see that because of the light. And then instead of lifting it up for a bird base, I'm going to leave it folded down. So we've got the bird base hiding underneath there. Okay. Then I'm going to take these two flaps of my what would be my bird base and flip them over. One, two, and flip these over this direction. So they're all laying down 
on that one side. Then I'm going to take this edge here and flip it downwards to make a diagonal line right here. So it's, this edge is going to come meet the center like this. And it'll make a little parallelogram. Then I'm going to take this bottom triangle here and f uh, mountain fold it backwards underneath to make the tail like that. Now at this point we've got the wolf howling at the moon pretty well established and we need to make the head and the ears which is the kind of tricky part. So this piece here is going to be the head and the ears and there's two flaps. There's the bird base hiding inside there and the ears hiding right up here. So we're going to take this little little corner here and we're going to flip it down this direction and that's going to form the ears. So we're going to flip that down first, crease it nice and hard so that we can find that crease again. And we're going to unfold that little area and bring up the little bird based piece that's hiding inside of here. Um, as I bring that up, I'm going to like lift it up there and I'm going to have to flip this outside reverse kind of outside reverse fold this ear situation as I flip that down. It's kind of hard because it, the paper wants to get caught up here in the back, but just kind of gently crease it down as you fold it up. Okay, and then you'll have a, a piece that looks something like that. So we've got the ears established here, and we have this long nose beak situation. If you then open this up a little bit, you can fold it down, valley folding it, crease it, and that's going to form this little notch for the head shape, and then fold it back up to bring that nose back out, and then fold this corner back in for the muzzle, like that, and then you flap this back closed and you'll have that headpiece. Okay, and depending on how you adjust the nose in there, you can adjust it so it's right on or you can adjust it a little out. Okay, and that's how to do the head piece. Now the last pieces are um, really easy compared to the rest. You're just going to mount and fold this corner back to kind of round the moon out and make the other side match. Unfolding it around the back. And then these little sides here, fold those over as well. That'll help keep the moon facing back. And on this side, as you fold that back, you'll see it'll keep the tail sticking out just a bit. So it kind of overlaps the frame a little bit out here. And then the last piece is to fold this tail in so it actually looks a little bit more pointed. And that's a mountain fold back like that. So there you go, there's how to fold Chris Alexander's Howling at the Moon.